Hello, it's Philip Taylor speaking from Richmond Green Chambers, and I'm looking today at a book in two parts from Tolly. It's Lexis Nexis Tolly, and it's the Orange Book as we know it. In fact, its full title is Tolly's Orange Tax Handbook 2010 to 11. It's this is the filler one, which is part two. Part one, I'll start with that, is the VAT bit. You can see very useful sections at the side and a lot of detail on the back. I can just say um, that when you open it up, do be careful because the pages are extremely thin and very easy to tear. You start off with a publisher's note about very, very recent things, key dates, for instance, with what's going on with the finance legislation, and then you've got a very useful contents at the front. Um, what you've got all the way through, and right at the back, in fact, you have an, a detailed index, which is very helpful. But you've got the usual structure, which is the actual legislation itself. Then you've got comments, which are very, very helpful, plus amendments and links into various other things. That, for instance, is a council uh, directive. You've also got various uh, additional points, like VAT notices for this section. And you've also got uh, commentaries and VAT press releases. So you've got everything you need to know about VAT in part one. Part two, which is much thinner, actually covers specific information. Stamp duty, um, stamp taxes in particular, and so forth. Again, it, it, it follows the same procedure. Again, the back has the detail. The pages are very, very... Um, very, very flimsy, so do be careful. But you've got useful things like amendments that are inserted in the detail of the text uh, to go with the actual legislation. So it's as up-to-date as it can be for this current uh, year. Now, the review that we've written, which goes with these two books, is called Indispensable for Practitioners, Tolly's uh, Orange Tax Handbook for 2010 to 11 covers VAT, stamp, landfill and insurance, premium taxes and more. And this is what we say. We're saying that, putting it simply, Tolly's Orange Tax Handbook in two volumes covers those areas of tax not included in the five volume Yellow Tax Handbook, which deals with income tax in, in general terms, and then the, the huge amount of detail. These, these books are endorsed by the Chartered Institute of Taxation, and this two-multi-volume uh, set remains the essential companion work for the tax practitioner in our view. It's wiser to have both sets uh, for your library, and even wiser to have both in the latest editions, bearing in mind that legislation is augmented and amended each year, and lesser amendments emerge from the various other statutes, which, as I've indicated, is shown in, in the uh, legislation itself. Statutory instruments, orders and regulations, of course, are also covered, and they're amended frequently, as you will well know as a practitioner. So you need to have immediate access to what is current, and that's what you've got here, in a paper format. Volume 1, as I say, covers that, and Volume 2, Stamp Duties and Other Matters. And as with the Yellow Tax Handbook, the, those practitioners who need to pursue the subject in much more depth will appreciate the amount of work which the consulting editor, and that's Roderick Cordara, Queen's Council, has actually put into uh, this with, with the LexisNexis team. Uh, we think that um, you'll appreciate the handbook's completeness, authority and attention to detail, as well as the logical and consistent layout of the contents, which, as I've indicated, is very helpful. There is, of course, a good index at the back. For example, the, the contents are arranged in separate sections for each of the taxes covered, and they're appropriately marked and tabbed, as you can see there. And to give another example of what, what we think is good about this book is that the notes included under each section or scheduled paragraph are presented under such headings as commentary, concessions, statement of practice and so on. So it gives you some feel for what, what you might be looking for in what is actually a very complex area uh, of taxation. Let me conclude by saying finally that the information presented in this edition is set out as at July 2010. I'm obviously recording these uh, some considerable time afterwards, and so we will get a new uh, work coming out in the late summer, early autumn of 2011. No account, therefore, is made for changes that have taken place after that date of, of July 2010. 
The reason for this is that the Tolly publications uh, have supplements for both the yellow and the orange books, and that keeps you up to date as the changes in the Third Finance Act 2010 um, come in, so you can be as up to date as possible. Um, you'll appreciate that this is an indispensable work, which is in our view a great tribute to uh, the work itself and the effort that they have uh, put in to what are essential titles for us. So, th so thank you very much to all concerned for this contribution to our practice. Bye-bye.